I feel like the Fed of is best book is the most comprehensive book on how to do infant feeding that I have ever read. And I think it's got a lot of great science behind it and just really a non judgmental approach, which is fantastic because again, this is not a one size fit all sort of thing. It is what fits your family best. This is this is information that all new families should have and should read. And it's definitely something I'm going to be be like, have you, do you know about this book? Would you like to read this book? Let me give you this book. Because it's so wonderful. And yeah, all the resources that you have in there, it is so comprehensive. And it actually gets right down to all the important stuff that you need to know. I mean, I've definitely read and listened to a, a bunch of different parenting books and other things that it's like a bunch of fluff in there. This is not a whole lot of fluff. This is like really great information from the from cover to cover. So I'm so glad that you guys wrote this book. I'm so glad that you started this foundation. I feel like hopefully this will swing the narrative to something that's a little bit more reasonable. And so parents can go back to just enjoying their babies and not feeling like they have somehow failed. Well, so for one, the book is so fabulous. I, I actually cried. I was discharged from the hospital with a newborn, first time mom, but I was very well informed, very committed to breastfeeding, was not provided with much information about how to know if your baby's getting enough. I had mm -hmm. the womanly art of breastfeeding. So did I. Yeah, not, not a good book. <laughs> uh, so I remember being at home with my newborn that was either screaming or sleeping, had to be attached to my boob at all times. I remember thinking there has to be something in this book about what I'm supposed to be doing, but it just kept saying, feed the baby, feed the baby. I called the lactation consultant. Oh, just keep doing what you're doing. Mm -hmm. I called the La Leche Leagues. Don't give the baby a bottle, whatever you do. Mm -hmm. They sent us in for a Billy Rubin test mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. their Billy Rubin was 21. They said, take them to the emergency room. They were admitted having lost 20% of their birth mm -hmm. weight. I thought I had completely failed as a parent. I remember trusting this breastfeeding book to tell me what I needed to do to feed my child, for my child to be healthy, how to be a good mom. And it absolutely did not have that information. So when I read this book um, and then saw that not only is it a brilliant analysis of the history of infant feeding, like, mm -hmm. oh my gosh, Christy, you should Cute. be so Thank proud. You. The medical knowledge that I think every parent needs to know mm -hmm. about how feeding can go well and about how feeding can go mm -hmm. catastrophically bad. But then the practical information mm -hmm. that's inclusive. But then <laughs> going on to honor the choice, mm -hmm. to honor individual families deciding what works for them. It's so meaningful. I can't <sighs> tell you how Cute. important this is. To read. I think that that is best book and podcast series should be part of every labor and delivery class. It should be in every breastfeeding 101 class. Okay. There should be a plan if breastfeeding doesn't go immediately perfectly right off the get-go. What's the next step? Because I had no next step. It was breastfeeding at the breast. Do not bring your pump supplies to the hospital. Do not bring any formula. Do not bring any donor milk. Do not do those things absolutely has to change because that was the message in breastfeeding 101 class that yeah. I attended with my husband yeah. right and partner yeah. right yeah. during our hospital tour yeah that yeah. needs to change there needs to be this is fed as death this is what happens when it doesn't go perfectly you must be educated you need yes. to know what to do you need to have a plan in place so what I love about the book is that it doesn't discredit breastfeeding at all it and it's not saying only formula it's just giving out facts for moms to make their choice just do what you think is best. And that's why I, I love this book so much. At the end of the day, it's your journey. You're in your baby's journey. Yeah. Whether yeah. formula, whether breast, as long as they are thriving, I think that's what should be the most important thing. We read everywhere that breast is best. Yeah. And that message can be very harmful mentally yeah. for the mom and, and physically for the baby. Some moms are not able to breastfeed and it's yeah. not something new. Then I found you guys that is best and, and, and honestly saved me. It saved my baby, my mental health. I felt more knowledgeable, more supported. That's all it matters. Thank you so much for this book. Oh, I think it's going to oh, help many you. moms, so many babies in their journey of growing and thriving, which is really what's the whole purpose of this.